Play it cool, boy. Real cool. That's probably the best movie ever, all around. Only won 10 Academy Awards. What's up? You're, You're filming this? Yeah. Uh, go cool. Oh, yeah. Boy, boy. Bye, bye. Crazy bye. Keep cool, go cool, boy. Got a rocket in your pocket. Keep coolie cool, boy. Go, man, go. But go like a school boy. Go cool, cool, boy. You know, everything can be done to you, all right? So let's, put, let's get a hand pocket. I'm going to cut into the plastic. This is too heavy. Pocket size cartels. You said you want pocket size cartels? Is that what you want? Go ahead. You bring your little shirt pocket. We need to get a rope to put in those. Yeah. I think you should serve the prasadam on this side. This side serve the prasadam. Let me turn it over. All right. Now, you know who played the bongo? The guy who was from Gilligan's Island? What was his name? That guy played a bongo in the first show, Toby Gillis. He came in, he came in like his first appearance on television. And like he had a striped uh, shirt like you're wearing, but black and white more. Striped with a little beanie uh, beach coma hat. And he was the, the not the star, Toby Gillis was the star. But this guy was, uh, what do you call him? Supporting actor, and then of course he became so famous. Let's go again. One of the biggest uh, TV mental world attractions in all time, right? Mm -hmm. This is what Krishna allows in the Akashic records, which your Prabhupada is talking about the Akashic records to somebody, Rupanuva or something. That's on, uh, you know, on the internet. So what else? Oh, so he had a bongo. I'm going to show Do you, you know what the Akashic Records are? I made up. I don't know what they are. Well, <laughs> that's what some people say. But they're they're channeled. They're actually modern. Mm -hmm. They're not they're not ancient writings. Right, right. Prabhupada said, what is this Akashic Records? Okay. Prabhupada said that. Prabhupada said, said what? Prabhupada said, what is this Akashic Records? <laughs> yeah, it, it's bullshit. But, I mean, it might not be, but it, it, it's pretty likely to be bullshit. So they, they, some people say that that's the... Uh, the Jesus uh, lost years have some. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's an Akashic record. You yeah. read, you see that it's but, actually, actually, it's not an ancient scripture. It's something that some possibly madman or maybe enlightened person. I'm not judging. The Rosicrucians. Yeah, say but just. What it is. Well, it might be true. I'm not saying it's not. I know. You know, I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying not. it might be true. It might be not. You know, but if you get some benefit from it. If you get some feeling of love from it and you can share that with others, then yeah. it doesn't matter if it's fiction. You can get that from literature also. No, I am, uh, but when you read something, you should know what it is. That's the thing. No, I am, uh, admits. You know, that's the thing. When you read something, you should know what it is and, and take it and with a grain of salt. You read it, you experience it, you express it to yourself, and then you say, what can I get from this? And then you and then you leave it at that. You don't get to become all fanatical if there's not if there's no proof and there's no parampara and there's no sampradaya and it's just uh, possibly you know a madman. You know, it's fine. If the person's meditating on Jesus, even if they did it wrong, they still made some benefit. You know. There's, there's more than one Ramayana. I might yeah. That. Well, but that doesn't mean it's true. But even if it is, even if there are know. errors, it doesn't matter because the person meant it with love and devotion. No, Not, there is a different, a different but account. sometimes there are errors. And even if there are errors, it doesn't matter as long as it wasn't intentional. 